Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Film Sessions. And today we're going to take a look at Rodney Anderson at Oklahoma. Now, we all know Oklahoma keeps uh, some running backs on deck. And uh, let's see if Rodney Anderson can add to that legacy. Um, he's a six foot one, 219 pound running back. Um, so he's in that power, um, you know, body that we're looking for. Um, however, he does have a red flag. In September 2018, he did uh, have an ACL injury. Um, so as you can uh, assume, most of the film we're going to look at is from last year, um, and rightfully so due to the injury. Um, that being said, I have seen a little bit of Rodney Anderson, but I don't know much about, uh, about him. So uh, again, when that's the case, let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, the Draft Network has to say. Rodney Anderson plays... Uh, with an effective blend of balance, power, and explosiveness. His best projection would be as a, pow a gap power runner, where his patience pressing the line of scrimmage can most consistently shine. Uh, while Anderson is a, a loose-hipped runner, uh, consistent outside zone usage would not play well to his strengths as a player. So he's an inside runner, uh, which is what we want to do as, as the Carolina Panthers. We don't do much zone. Uh, we, don't have, we don't run a zone scheme, a zone run scheme. Uh, that's kind of part of the reason why we let go of cj anderson um he wasn't a good fit for what we wanted to do and also uh, christian mccaffrey was a beast um so that being said let's just jump into the film and see what rodney anderson uh has to offer Oops. jump into it sorry about that this is against a good georgia front here and Baker Mayfield, so he can catch the ball. That's a good, that's a good sign. Yeah, hit the gap and go. I like that. Six foot one, two. He's a taller running back. I like, I like his, I like his look so far. He hit the gap. He found that little. Found that little um that little scene and got in there. Pause. This if you you really want to be honest, this looks very similar to what Carolina runs. Get that little running start with the with the nice that's a nice power run. Um the nice little zone read with Cam. That looks a lot like what we do. Yeah, I like this. I like it. He he sees the gap and he's gone. This yeah, I remember this game. This is a lot of a lot of uh, wide open runs here. And this is against a good Georgia front. You got some NFL players in this in this joint. Roquan Smith being one of them. Yeah, I like how he he in the, at the the line of scrimmage he's gone, man. He's not the type of guy to dance around. He's just hitting it. Mm. Decent passes. He tried to save Baker Mayfield life. Uh, he was—he had a, a nice block, but couldn't quite. It's a nice. Uh, he got blown up a little bit. But he still he allowed Baker to get away. Ain't much room. Ain't much room here. Hmm. Hmm. I right, slip. Nice. Ooh. 
Petra. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to pass protection. Sorry. That's a good chip. It's a good chip. He got blown up. He got blown up a little bit. Dancing a little bit. Found a scene. He's he's very good. He's very good pass in pass protection. Which is always a plus. Which is what most running backs struggle at. At the you know as young NFL running backs, um, as rookie running backs, they tend to struggle at pass protection. Which is why a lot of guys don't get many snaps uh, as rookies. If you can't pass protect, you can't be on the field. But he's, I like his run style though. I really do. I really like his run style. Can he catch? We're gonna find out. Uh, no. Overthrown ball. Nice. He's getting you four or five yards just off the rip. Nice block. I ain't do much. He ain't do much there. I'm gonna let him slide there. Nice. Look at it. He's falling forward for four or five yards. That's all. That's what we want to see in Carolina. That's what we need to see in Carolina. Oh man. Baker. Game winner. Well, maybe not. Alright, that was the first one. We got so this is from this year. With your boy Kyler Murray. He said he got hurt early 2018, so I mean well, early in the season. So I just could imagine what they could have done with a, a a good running back, or a well he I'm pretty I don't know what's about their backup, but I didn't watch too much Oklahoma. Let me let me chill because I didn't watch too much Oklahoma football. I'm talking like I watched them. Um, I did watch them in the playoffs, but that's really about it. Couple, I think I watched the West Virginia game as well. That's it. I do know Marquise Brown is a beast. Kyler Murray getting a lot of carries. He's just playing decoy right here. This dude. All right, there we go. Oh man, out of here. He's got decent breakaways, so he's probably gonna run like a four or five, which is very good. Man, I, I I love how he attacks the gaps. I love how he attacks the gaps, man. There's no dancing like Benny. Benny was dancing yesterday. We was watching Benny. A decoy, decoy action. They destroying Florida Land. Probably won't be seeing him too much longer. It's about to be a quick one. Nice. So he can catch the ball, which is always a plus. You want to see, even in your power backs, you want to see the ability to catch the ball because you don't want to be one dimensional. So you don't, you don't want to have a guy in there and. All he can do is run the ball, cause then you become, oh, they're gonna they're gonna run it when he comes in. So we can't, you know, we can put twelve dudes in the box. He's out of there, man. He's got some speed on him too, bro. Sheesh. Anderson is nice. Just that that ACL scares me a little bit, but you know, we've seen TD come back from three of them, but he ain't a running back, so we'll see. He's quick, man. Big and fast. Hmm.
Not much there in pass protection. Yeah, I knew that was going to be quick. I don't know if that's the game he tore his ACL or not, but again, this is from last year against uh, Kansas. Kansas ain't much to speak of, um, but still, let's roll with it. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'd like to see what his uh, average yards per carry is, cause he's he's he can break one, but then on the short runs he's getting four yards. The ins even the inside runs he's getting four or five yards to carry, like this. Oh no, he didn't get it. Play action. A little blocky block. Yeah, see this inside read? He's still getting four. Look at him. Look at him. Pushes. He's still got six yards. Well, five according to the ref. I would have gave him one extra one. Nice screen. Mm, out of here. Oh, nice. And he stayed up. Absorbing contact. That's great. Look at that. Man, he is not going down, dude. Falling forward. I love it. His, I love his running style, man. I know I said it a couple times, but... Mm, they stuffed him right there. That was just well. Good defense by Kansas. Oh, they're going for it. They're going to the well one. Oh, nope. Nice. Oh, man. What a play. What a play. Did he get the touchdown? Wow. Impressive. I mean, that's, that's scramble drill, right? So, like, you want to see if your running back can... Uh, you know Cam's going to get on the loose a couple times. Mm. Nice. Nice lead block. I see you. up on a couple of these joints. Nice little block, chip block on the edge. Can he catch it? Yep. I don't think I've seen him drop a pass. Lead blocker. Nice block right there. Nice block without holding. Ah, uh, I would have liked to see him go to another hole. Pause. It's the four or five yards he's falling for. Decoy. Nice step up, Baker. Oh man, you should have called. You should have picked that. Nice. Oh man, gotta make those throws. Oh wheel. Hmm. 
Nice. Out of there. You ain't catching him. And let's let's keep this in the context, uh, cause Oklahoma got road graders up here. So you got some guys that hit their offensive lines are typically good. Uh so the question is, can is he tough enough to run run behind a offensive line that isn't quite as good? So um Oklahoma uh, offensive linemen know how to open up some holes. Can bet good money that a couple of these dudes are gonna be in the NFL if they aren't already there. Cause I don't know O linemen draft like that, but I can bet you that them dudes are gonna end up. In, uh, all five of those dudes are gonna end up in the NFL. All right, so that's Rodney Anderson. Um, again with the with the running backs, we're looking for vision, pass protection. Receiving, balance, loosening, power, competitive toughness, and versatility. I thought he showed all of those, um, especially was was good in pass protection. Um, elusive for for a big guy. I was impressed with that. Um, and had enough power to break tackles. Um, you know, I, I think he would fit in the switch up with what we're trying to do. Uh, we got Christian McCaffrey. And we don't have anybody else. Um, you got um, Elijah Hood. He's the only under, other, other guy that's on, under contract. Um, but we'll see. Um, that being said, uh, I like Rodney Anderson. Late pick. I don't know what round, but in late somewhere. Uh, that being said, uh, like, subscribe, meet me in the comments. All right.